afternoon, gentlemen. Today we're going to be completing the volume of a drop lab. At your lab station, you would typically have what the procedure is, as well as this information, and then something else. But for you, it is posted on Canvas. I will kind of talk about some introductory material before we begin. Um, but before I do that, just make sure if you have any questions throughout this process to email me and I will help you with that. One important thing that I need you to know is when you're dealing with the volume of a drop of water specifically, we can't calculate that in the lab. However, one powerful thing about experimenting is that we can predict things that could happen if we can measure them in the lab. And so when I think about volume of one drop, specifically, for example, this drop, if I want to measure the drop of volume in there, it'd be really difficult. First off, it's a drop of water, so my beaker really wouldn't catch it as fast. And look at how quick that drops. What's the volume of this water? Or this drop of water? Or this drop of water? It's difficult to come up with the volume. However, in the lab, I know for a fact I can measure the mass of one drop of water using a mass balance, and I also know the density of water. Using that, I can use the density equation. The density equation is mass over volume. What I will do then is I need to figure out the density of water. The density of water is a certain number, and that number is always 1.00 grams per milliliters. So, using that information, I can solve for volume, which is my unknown variable. Volume, in this case, would be equal to mass over density. My mass is my known value of what I find in the lab. My density is 1.00 grams per milliliters. So this lab is going to allow you to evaluate the independent and dependent variables between mass and drops of water. Moving into the lab, as I remind you, you're gonna be filling out this handout. I recommend having this video playing on a second screen and filling this out on your iPad. However, I will be going through all the data for you and what you're collecting so you can write it down. So now we're going to move into the lab. You will be answering number one, two, and three on your own on the lab handout. You're going to identify the independent variable and the dependent variable and list at least three controls that we have in the lab. What I will be doing with you today is number four. Number four asks you to construct your own data table. And so you will use a ruler, or in this case on Notability, you can make a straight line to create your data table and collect your data. The data table looks like this. I'm trying to help you. Drops of water, 20 to 100. I'm gonna find my mass of water in grams, and then I will find the volume of water using my equation. My equation will go through um, number five down is all graphing and then lab analysis. So we will work on that once we collect all of our data. First thing that I have to do is follow my procedure. I'm taking a wave boat and I'm tearing it out on my balance. I'm gonna start with 20 drops of water. Here is the mass for 20 drops of water. Record that down on your data table. I will add 10 more drops now for 30. Here is the mass for 30 drops of water. Record that down on your data table. Now I will move on to 40. Here is the mass for 40 drops of water. Record that down on your data table. Now I'm moving on to 50. Here is the mass for 50 drops of water. Record that down on your data table. Now I'm moving on to 60. Here is 
Erase the data of the mass for 60 drops of water. Record that down on your data table. Now I will do 70. Here is the mass for 70 drops of water. Record that down on your data table. I'm going to do 80. Here is the mass for 80 drops of water. Record that down on your data table. Now I'm gonna do 90. Here is the mass for 90 drops of water. Record that down on your data table. Now for 100. Here is the mass for 100 drops of water. Record that on your data table. Now, I need to fill out the volume column. To do that, I will use my density equation. I know density to be 1.00 grams per milliliters. I found my mass in the lab. So, multiplying volume over to density and dividing my density value, I get the equation volume is equal to mass over density. I will take my mass of water and divide it by one to get it to volume of water. I will then record that entire information in this column. I then will graph my results on a separate sheet of graph paper, or in this case, you can do it on Notability. You will label all parts of the graph and then you will include your best fit line. I do want you to write one sentence describing the relationship between drops of water. I would like to remind you, independent is always your x value and your dependent is always your y value. A good way to remember what independent is, is when you break up with a girl, she becomes your x, but you become independent. So your independent and your x are associated together. When you're dependent, you are focused on someone else. So your dependent is your Y. Once you create your graph, you're gonna be able to answer these predictions. You will include all the information on it and talk about your results. With question nine and 10, you will show your work. So if you use this as a percentage or you decide to use your graph, you may do that. However, just ensure that you're showing all your work. Then you will make your calculations. I went through and I already started, but you should work on the rest. That is all I have for you today. So complete your lab and turn it in as soon as you can. Have a wonderful day.